Hi there, this is Lonnie Ayers from uh, SAP BW Consulting, um, the headquarters of Advanced Inbound Marketing Techniques. And today I'm going to show you the solution to a pr common problem that we encounter. Um, if you're a company that has more than one employee and you're producing content at a regular rate, uh, a common question that your sales force is going to ask you is, well, how can I get notified of new content when it's produced? Um, and you can imagine as you get up to 10 employees, it's a small problem. When you get up to 100 employees, it gets to be a much bigger problem. When you get up to thousands of employees, it becomes a nearly impossible problem. So the only answer is to use automation. And today I'm going to show you uh, a simple way to do this. It takes just a little bit of uh, work after you've published a piece of content. Um, but it's pretty simple once you see what I'm doing. So the first thing you have to do is create an employee list, and that's very simple to do. This is a, a sample company that we've made up, and we've simply got a list of, we've made sure all of our employees have at least, you know, their name in, in our database, and we, and we simply set up this list that says uh, they're an employee, and the, it, it's uh, the equal to yes. So now... Anytime somebody comes or gets added to this contact database, they're going to get this list, and that's going to set up everything down the, down the wire to um, automatically notify them. Now, the second thing that we'll have to do is create a list of a special list to say, okay, I want you to notify the employees that they there is a new piece of, of content. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the reason... We're going to do it on a. Uh, we're going to build one actually while, while we're here. This is this is the basic model that we're going to use. We're just going to clone this list. Um, but as it happens, we've we've produced something today with this this client, and we need to tell everybody out there. Hey, look, we we've done this. All right. So let's uh, wrong portal. Let's get over here to the right portal. As it happens. You, the reason you have to do it after you publish it is because you need a clean URL in order for the system to, to be able to actually do this. So we've produced one uh, called uh, Reduce Project Risk by using RDS, which stands for Rapid Deployment System. And what we want to do, we want to notify everybody that that just went out. So first thing we want to do is we want to uh, view, view this live. All right? And I'm pretty sure that that's it right there. So we want to pick up that uh, URL. And we want to come over here. And we want to clone this list. Remember I told you we, we wanted to clone this, this list. All right, so we're just going to clone this list. And we're going to name it. Oh, reduce. We're going to get, get, give it the basic same name as the piece of content. Um, okay. And what we're going to do now, it's a smart list. And... What we want to do is we want to key, we want this list to key in on the fact that someone has visited a page. And in this case, it's this page right here. The one that we got that clean URL out of, we're going to replace that right there. And what we should actually see is that none of the employees have visited this list. We just published this. So we save this. And now we're all kind of set up. Um, that list should... Focus, it should come back with zero. It's going to scan through the entire database, which is quite large here. And it's going to say, these people have not visited uh, that database, so they're eligible for this workflow. So the second uh, trick is, I've got an email drafted that I can use and I can just clone it. And for you know, nothing fancy here, it's just an email that we're going to send out to the employees when something happens. And we're going to clone this email. And we're going to call this one... What would you think? Same thing. Reduce project risk by using an RDS. And we're going to call this new um, content publication notice. We're going to submit this. And now we've, got our, we've cloned this email. And we're just going to edit it with just a couple of things. All right. New content was just published. It's going to pick, we're going to personalize this. Why not? We're, we're this is essentially marketing is telling the internal members of the team what, what's going on. So we're going to re replace this part right here, which is the old one, with the name of the new one. Reduce project risk by using 
an RDS, and then we're going to give them the new link, All right? Just to be thorough. All right. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna hook that up. So they're we're really making sure that there's no way that they're gonna miss this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to this this link right here. Right. Didn't like that. So that's the one thing that we we do. This this is so they know what they're seeing. This one right here already has a link. We're going to break that link. Yeah, let's make sure it's clean. I don't think I have this last part. We want to we want to unlink that just to make sure it's clean. Right there she is again. So now you see we've added it in two ways that they're going to get it. Um, and if we really wanted to um, talk about it a little bit more, I think there's probably a CTA in there. Let's see if, we, if it's created or not. If there's not, we won't put it. Um, but yeah, sure enough, right there it is. So we just drop that guy in. So now there's three different ways that your users are going to see that. Um, we're going to make this come from the marketing team, just for demo purposes. And up here, uh, we're going to make sure it comes out from the right guy. Not, not really important. Um, okay. So over here, same thing. We don't need to do nothing there. And we're going to save this mail for automation. Save email for that. Okay. So we're going to let it pump there. Da, 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 the nice little HubSpot uh, thing. This guy's done. And if we want, we can test it, make sure it goes there. And let's, let's run a little quick test, make sure she goes where we want to go. Boom, there she did. Um, there, there it goes. You know, always be testing. That's really, the, that's really the secret to success when it comes to a lot of this stuff. All right, so now the last part of this is really to set up a workflow. Uh, we've done the email, we've done the list, now, we, now we've got to tell everybody. So we want to go and we want to set up a workflow that tells everybody uh, on an automatic basis and ongoing that there's a piece of, of new workflow there. Um, and as it happens, we've done a few of these before, and we're just going to do the same process. We are going to uh, new content notification. Remember that? We're going to use that guy. We're going to clone it. And this one, which we're just going to call it uh, same thing. Uh, reduce project risk by using an RDS. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and we're going to adjust this. We want them so whenever. Project risk RDS. We want whenever whenever someone joins that list, we want to make sure we hit that enroll contact. If it's an ATCG employee, um, we can, you can you can actually just do it straight, but just this is kind of a double check there. Um, okay. Boom. Then if yes, we want to send an email. And we want to send the one that we just called, RDS. All right, so what's this, what's this workflow going to do? It's going to come in and it's going to say, they're not on this, on this list yet, if they're, or they're on this list or not. It's going to say, it's an employee. Yes, I want to notify them. So I want to save this. And then, well, it's actually checking to see, you know, if they're not on the list yet. If they're already on it, they don't need the email again. It's redundant. And what we want to do up here is we want to edit. The goal of this is actually to get them on the RDS list. All right. 
So this is the tricky part. The goal of this email is actually to get your internal employees to fill out the contact record and download that piece of content so that you know uh, they had an opportunity to review it before the, you know, they next talk to a client about it. Okay. So just one more time, let's review this workflow. When there's a, a work, a list set up out there, that's, it's kind of a double, it's two positives to come up with a negative, but what the, the, the workflow is, the list is set up to ensure that employees are going to get notified that there's a new piece of content. Um, if, if they haven't yet filled it out, they're going to get this email that, it, that it's available. And we're simply going to make it active. Nine contacts in this case. And boom. There we go. So there we go. Uh, we've just set up a workflow that's going to tell new, tell new employees, tell all employees within the company that a piece of new content has been published by the marketing department. It's going to send them to the you, the page on your website where they can go access it once they fill out the form and, and access it their name's going to go on the list so they do not get the notification again and as people come and go or are added to the employee list the system's just going to do this in the background so it's new it's new content now to everybody but a year from now when people you know new new hires come in the company's growing you're you're going to want them to know um, and eventually you can take and make one workflow that kicks off all of these workflows for anybody new because as you, as you might imagine if you've got hundreds of pieces of content out there uh, you know they're, they're not going to go through it all at once again uh, this is Lonnie Ayers and today I've showed you how to set up a new content publication notification to all of the internal employees in your company <music>